Well, anyone who's ever bought a car has likely encountered a lemon. So how can you protect yourself from getting a sour deal? Here to tell us is automotive consumer advocate Michael Sachs. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, so tell us, what is a lemon law? Well, the lemon law is something we've all heard about, but a lot of people don't know how it works. A lemon is defined as a car that has a problem that impairs the use, the value, or the safety. And there's lemon laws in all 50 states, and these laws provide free legal representation in many situations to help you get a new car or a refund. So when did this law go into effect? Well, you know, laws started in the mid-80s, and every state implemented a different law. And you can go to LemonLaw.com. That tells you all about the various laws in various states. Each state has a different law. In New Jersey, for example, the car has to be out of service three or more times, with the first problem occurring in the first 24 months or 24,000 miles. But every state has different examples of that. And as these laws came into play, manufacturers realized that they had a responsibility. They had to make sure that when people brought their cars in for repairs, they were fixed efficiently and effectively. Okay. And now, does this law apply to both new and used cars? No. That's an excellent question. This law applies to new cars, leased or purchased in most situations. Now, certain states also have used car statutes. You need to contact your state attorney general to find out more about that. If you have a used car with a manufacturer's warranty, there are federal warranty laws that may apply as well. Okay. And so when you lease a car um, and then, of course, when you buy a new car, there's, uh, there's the warranty that goes along with right. it. And I think that a lot of people think that, well, with a lemon law, mm -hmm. it's, it's just major mechanical issues. Not true, unfortunately. No. As cars have become more technologically advanced, there are so many components that could legitimately cause a car to be a lemon. It could be a water leak. It could be an electrical problem. Yes, it could be the engine or the transmission, but it has to be anything which makes sure that this car doesn't drive as it was promised. And if you find yourself back in the shop again and again and again, normally three times, or if you're out of service for an extended period of time, maybe the part is on back order because a lot of the companies have closed production plants. Mm -hmm. You are entitled to compensation and you need to keep your repair invoices and you need to look into your legal rights. Ah, uh, see, that's the trick because I know sometimes when I've gone in and I've taken my car in, I'll just throw that in Right to out. the circular <laughs> file. No, these right. are your golden tickets. This is a very expensive investment. Mm -hmm. You have a problem, you bring it into the dealer. The service advisor says, ma'am, this is what we did. This is how this problem was fixed. This is the mileage in, the mileage out. Here is your repair invoice. Jessica, you're supposed to take that invoice and put it in your glove compartment. Because if that problem exists again, you can take it out and say, listen, this is the second time I've complained about this. Mm -hmm. Now, last time this is what you did. What are you going to do this time? This is your record to ensure that your car is being looked at properly. Right. And now speaking of expensive repairs, what's also expensive is, of course, legal help. So is there any recourse for people who can't afford well, it? Well, the good news is that the legal help is cost free in many situations. These laws have fee shifting provisions. This is a David versus Goliath scenario. You're battling a billion dollar car company. So what the law says is that if you prevail, the manufacturer must pay all attorney's fees and legal costs on top of what you receive. And if you don't prevail, there should be no cost and no risk. So it's very important that you find a lawyer who's following the fee shifting provisions of the law to ensure you're entitled to that free legal help. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I know you said this, this law took place back in the 80s? Started in the 80s mm -hmm. with many states and continued to grow, mm -hmm. absolutely. It's, it's definitely heartbreaking when you buy a new car or you spend all your money on a, a used car, which I know I did just coming out of high school. Yep. Got my car two weeks off the lot basically everything broke. Unfortunately, with many used cars, that's the problem. And I get calls all the time from young people. They invest all this money into used vehicles. Mm -hmm. We have something called the Lemon Dodger Worksheet uh, at LemonLaw.com. It's a questionnaire. There are so many questions that you need to ask when purchasing a used car. And you also need to check out services like Carfax, which will tell you if your car has a lemon history. If your car was repurchased under the Lemon Law, the title is branded. And the consumer must be notified that the car was a lemon and it had a certain problem and that this problem was fixed. If it was not fixed, you can go back to the manufacturer and seek recourse. So if you check out 1-800-LEMON-LAW. That's our hotline, 1-800-LEMON-LAW. You can go online to LEMONLAW.com. Find out about your rights. Be educated. An educated consumer is an effective consumer. And do not be scared. Mm -hmm. This is a law that protects you and your money. 
and it's very important that you take advantage of it. Okay, and uh, is there anything else that you think consumers should be on the lookout for well, when buying I a new car? I definitely think that people should take a look at research, research, research. The internet provides so much interesting information about problems that are out there, recalls, technical service bulletins. If there's a specific car that you're interested in, go online, check it out. We have something called the Car Complaint Index. It takes a look at the cars that receive the most complaints per sales. Find out which cars are receiving complaints and why. That information can help you in selecting the right choice for you. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for joining uh, thank us, you. Michael. Pleasure.